Has he re-uploaded it? And the streamer scammed everyone on Twitch? The best way to make money on the internet in the shortest amount of time is to scam. There's no way around it. There happens to be one scammer who managed to steal from some of the most popular streamers on Twitch. And for the most part, got away with it. Abraham Muhammad, or Slicker, got his big break when he gained notoriety on the Austin Show live streams. Back when Austin was cosplaying as Raj Patel, Slicker was also one of the first contestants on the Raj Chiller series, which would become known as Lover Host. He donned the persona of Dollar Tree Andrew Tate, taking a lot of inflammatory- Well, it, this was way before Andrew Tate. I even was uh, a thing. Tory stances during his time streaming. He would follow the current Twitch drama meta and even made some of his own. Ah, uh, yeah, man, stick to your phone, you get me? If you're still messaging train wreck, stick to it, you get me? Hustle, wait, first of all, why are you being such a white knight bitch? I was analyzing your statistical m language, bro. You sounded like a little muppet, you get me? During this time on Twitch, it was considered <laughs> cool to <laughs> be counterculture. So when you had a bunch of nerds competing over women's approval over a Discord call, the one who was abrasive just always stood out. His streams included playing CSGO, Minecraft, dancing in the streets. The thing is, we won't really know the old slicker, because those days are gone, and tainted by his new reputation. He grew his audience to nearly half a million followers on Twitch, and because of his following, he soon became friends with other famous streamers such as Trainrex, Ms. Kiff, and XQC. Of course, the one thing streamers are after besides money is clout, so so the best way to achieve both of these simultaneously is to associate with other streamers who have them. They circle jerk each other, create fake drama, all for the sake of digital attention. Why? Because digital attention equals money. It's easy enough. Even if he had a lot of money at one point, he definitely didn't stay rich. All of his wealth, which he stole, would be squandered on gambling, he steal or all of it. so he says. After all, no one saw him gamble any of this money away. None of his streams contained serious gambling content, as it would probably raise some eyebrows as to how he was throwing all this money away. And his preferred method of gambling was different than that of Twitch, through CSGO skin gambling and sports betting. In Slicker's case, since he was now broke, it was time to start exclusively you, yes. using other people's money. It's not clear whether Slicker's first scam was documented, but he began with those closest to him, starting small and thinking big. His first scams were directed towards friends and family. They were manipulated into giving Slicker money, believing that they would get paid back. Most of those closest to Slicker have stayed anonymous or dealt with the situation personally. However, Slicker wasn't done. He knew where the real money was. He began to beg those who got him where he was in the first place. There are hundreds upon thousands of messages through Discord logs showing Slicker's- I- uh, do you know what? I think this video paints the picture wrong. This, this, this video is fake news. I'll already tell you why. Because he is painting a picture of a guy that is well thought through. Now I'm going to scam people. Yes, I'm... Well, we're starting with friends and family. No, he's just a fucking gambling addict. This is typical addict behavior. It isn't thought through. Oh, we're going to start here and then expand. No, <laughs> it's bullshit. He, will, he gambled away his own money first. That's number one. First, the addict, they spend their own money down till the last fucking drop. And then they have to, and then they start trying to get money. So he starts out with asking, can I borrow some money, right? From some from whoever is closest and then you expand because you have used all the closest ones and you have gambled away that as well and then you start expanding asking more and more people it isn't uh, where the big money was it's this <sighs> fake video painting the picture wrong script in action. Here he is, ungrateful for the $2,000 he already received from a viewer. Here's another individual walking into Slicker's trap. The classic, how old are you? And do you have a job? You can literally see how he uses the same language in his scamming, effectively copy-pasting the same messages to his victims, and actually begging his victims to make them feel sympathetic. The videos show that he knew exactly what- Begging the victims to feel sympathetic, typical addictive behavior again. 
I have a friend that has been heroin addict, and I can tell you one thing. Similar behavior, not thought through. We need money right now. I need money. It isn't like, oh, in fucking two weeks, I'm probably you spent all my money, so I need to start gaining. A no, that's not how they're thinking. It is, I need heroin now. How can I get that? I need money fast. How can I get money fast? And he actually thinks he's winning the next one. Yes, as well, complete delusional sad. <laughs> True. He was doing that this was all premeditated, but his justification is that his gambling there addiction There is literally made nothing here that Although isn't this is definitely part of the True. problem, Slicker's lack of Hello. empathy Hello. for those he took advantage of shows a lapse of morality that can only be described as insane. Sadly enough, the victim list goes on. Simply, too many people were fooled by his manipulations. In total, Slicker scammed upwards of 70 people, but he made two crucial mistakes. And Instead of scamming and scramming like Logan Paul or FaZe Banks, he stuck around and scammed some more. In fact, he couldn't stop himself. The other It's called being an addict, right? Mistake is that he scammed other streamers. Something tells me if he just stuck to scamming his viewers, he could have gotten away with it. Slicker failed time and time again, but he kept asking for money when he knew he couldn't return any of it. His apology video highlights his willingness to admit fault if you can get past the crocodile tears. Overall, Slicker stole close to $250,000 from multiple friends and fellow streamers, yet it's unclear whether or not he's banned on Twitch. One of the main side effects of scamming people is going bald, which is why today's video is sponsored by Keeps. Keeps is a subscription... The people that he stole from include YouTuber Luke AFK, which he stole $27,000 from, he stole from a woman going through chemotherapy for multiple autoimmune diseases. He stole $10,000 from chess streamer Alexandra Botez. He stole from Tectone Lakari and even the man Canute, who is seemingly one of the most wholesome people on the platform, could lift Slicker up by his pinky toes. I demand this video not fake news. This is a good, good fucking... <laughs> Video. Sorry, Philion, for saying it was fake news. And shake him for loose change, <laughs> but instead had this to say. Point being, of course, if he never pays back, that's scammer of him. And he could have told me, you know, you know what? I would have accepted him saying to it. You know what? I don't have the money now. I fucked up. And I would have said, okay, dude, pay the others that needed more than me first. Slickers, NPC dialogues. Oh, he painted me good. Sorry, Philion. Sorry. The most wholesome. Game script included lying that he had been <laughs> hacked, his money had been frozen, and that he had outstanding bills to pay. No one hate me on this. It's so cringe, and I'm cringe for asking my brother, please do not hate me. Please, keep it personal as well. Basically, um, my bank account got locked. This has happened for like three, four days. <laughs> You're okay. People sadly, um, today, well, tomorrow is the last day um, until my credit starts getting fucked up. Given the recklessness of his actions, it doesn't even seem like he tried to cover his tracks. In fact, I think he knew he was going to get caught eventually. It was only a matter of time. Over 20 individuals. I'll tell you one thing, boys. What I don't understand is the people that have given him more and more and more, right? Because there's a lot of people that have given him more and more. Do you know what? He, I gave him, he asked me in the beginning, this is years ago, he asked, can I borrow some money? I said, yes, of course you can. He said, pay back. I'll pay back in this amount of time, he said. And I didn't hear shit. Then I, I don't remember if I asked him to get back some money once. And he said, ah, oh, sorry, I don't have anything now. I said, that's fine. And then he came back to me and asked, can I borrow some more? Can I borrow some more? I left him on read. And I said, I didn't say shit. And then a long way, way later, actually a week before everything just blew out of proportions. I ignored him. He asked again. And I said, nothing. 
and I took <coughs> I saw the one I had borrowed him and I put a big L behind it as a loss that's what I did I put a big in my books that was an L that's fine minus how much it wasn't that much okay uh, AJ thank you for two months but uh, listen from what I saw when people were asking him back that was my point of what I said in this video if he had told me Knut I fucked up I borrowed your money from you. I, I don't have money to pay back. If he said those words, I would have said, fuck it. I won't starve. You still get your money back? No. I won't starve. Let's just say on today's rate of streaming, I borrowed him half an hour sponsorship on stream. Depends on what it is. Maybe 20 minutes. Fuck it, okay? Doesn't matter. We won't, <laughs> won't starve. <laughs> 100k now. <laughs> no. Best advice I hear if you lend money to friends or family, just treat it as a gift or don't uh, do it at all. It gets too messy. Texaco, 100%. With Knut's money back, <laughs> no. I even said no. Well, because uh, Vogito was trying to. Uh, to gather everyone he had uh, gotten money from. To, of course, XQC and um, Ludwig was paying back. I said, no, dude, dude, fuck it. It's years ago. I, I <clears throat> yes, I'm a millionaire. Trying to. And it was here. And I wrote to the guy and he ghosted me. Oh, fuck you, Strider. You don't need money. You earn more than anyone else. <clears throat> I wanted my hundred dollars. <laughs> Fucking sneaky bastard. Are you saying people? Uh, I should have said, can you give them to that girl with uh, what is that disease she had? Give it to her instead. I'll do <laughs> If he wants to pay, I'll give my share to her. Rules brought up allegations of stolen money, so forcing like Slicker to reluctantly admit his truth. To get right to the point, Slicker streamed an apology to his viewers and all those that he stole from. But his apology was bullshit. He blames his actions on his gambling addiction, yet has shown no remorse or anything resembling real sadness for that matter. He only cares that he got caught. Had he gotten away with what he did, he showed no signs of stopping. After all, he stole $7,000 from a woman suffering through chemotherapy and went on to beg her for more money. This level of shamelessness is inexplicable. I may be an outsider. I don't know if he apologized to every single victim, but what I do know is he that apologized even if he to me. did apologize, it didn't come across as genuine and what- He apologized to me in a call and he said thank you for ignoring me not accepted by nearly anyone. He never once cared about paying everyone as back should, with yes. proof from Asmongold's stream showing how at EU TwitchCon, Slicker told one of his own mods that he'd never see his money again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, 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 so when I went to, I went TwitchCon EU, yeah, it was bad. streaming with Slicker and shit. When I ended my, <laughs> when I ended my stream, he goes, you know the money you gave me, you ain't getting it back. <laughs> he laughed and walked away. Wait, what? He did this in real life? Yeah, because I met him in Twitch. I did an IRL stream with him. Sadly, this is the way of the internet. Those that scam still manage to make it to the top. Blue check marks, sponsors, and more money than you can imagine Drake. you. If you just sign right here. In the real world, there are plenty of people who have scammed a fraction of the money Slicker did, yet they are behind bars. You see, oftentimes people forget to take off their rose-tinted glasses of celebrity worship. This is not a petty internet heist. It's actually criminal and should be pursued as such. And the only- The, the thing is, now that all the money are paid back, doesn't matter how, is it then a crime? There's no contract, they got their money back. Is there then a crime? No, it isn't. Of course it's a crime. No, that isn't an of course. If I borrow money from one of you and I don't have any money to pay back. He didn't steal them in that way. He borrowed them with a promise of paying back. That is different from stealing. They gave it with the expectation of getting it back. 
So what has happened legally is that they got their money back just way too late. It's a civil matter. That's what I think. It's probably not a legal. It's a verbal agreement. Yes. And he says he's going to pay it back. I don't think they could go. And when they have gotten their money back, I don't think they could have... Um, could be sued only. Yes, that's what I think. It could have been sued for not paying back. But when they have gotten their money back, I think it's a bit too late. Without... without a, yes, Obviously. Could have been sued in hindsight. Can't sue someone broke. Could still have been sued for interest occurred. True. But in a way, they have accepted to take the money back. Hmm. Only sympathy shown should be towards the victims. Imagine stealing a... Trainer never got his 100k back, but Trainer said it's a gift. A quarter of a million dollars, and then two streamers pay back all of the money that you stole. Although this is a heartwarming end to the story, let's take a look at some of the hypocrisies that never cease to exist. After nearly a month, Ludwig and XQC, along with the help of several others, announced they had completely repaid all of Slicker's victims. 72 recipients of $243,653.40. If you ask me, it's a little ironic, one of the biggest sums of money scammed by Slicker was $100,000 from Trainwrecks. Trainwrecks is a shameless gambling goblin who lives in Canada, who promotes gambling to kids, to anyone really dumb enough to listen to him. So Slicker scammed the money from Trainwrecks, who gets his money from Stake.com a gambling website, and XQC, who I assume paid back half of the total, has wagered over $120 million, is also sponsored by Stake. It's paid for a gambling back. addiction by using a gambling website. It's all just one giant bullshit Ouroboros. Unsurprisingly, Slicker's scams would lead to even more drama in the Twitch world, which weirdly enough worked to his benefit. In a way, it gave him a way out, a way of sneaking away as the fire just started getting hotter. All of this occurred in the weeks following September 12th of 2022, and was most definitely the craziest drama Twitch has ever seen. It was like dominoes, a timeline of events that led to each compounding drama story to be overshadowed by the last. According to Penguin Zero's breakdown of the that drama, is. in the beginning of September, XQC didn't go to Cutie Cinderella's creator event known as Shit Camp. Due to this, tensions elevated among the streamers. On September 8th, streamer Erob jokingly threatened to beat up one of his longtime viewers. He was given a seven day ban until Twitch nope. revised it. was a indefinitely ban it and increased it to 30 days. On September 17th, XQC and Adept fought on stream, a conversation that should not have happened in front of a 120,000 person live back. audience. The parasocial frogs drooling all over their keyboards must have loved that one. Later that night, a few hours after XQC's drama, the news of Slicker overshadowed everything, including the fact that he had no intention of paying anyone back because he spent all of Oh, he hasn't watched the time. He, he doesn't have the timeline correct, Filion. You could have asked Knut. You could have asked Knut. It was the Miss Kiff drama that came the same day. Money he stole on gambling, more specifically sports betting. On September 18th, everything came to a boiling point on Twitter with conversations trending about Twitch allowing gambling and gambling sponsorships on their platform. Now, I've only been saying this for over a year now, but we one day the internet week, yes. will catch up. Of course, every morally gray streamer had their lackeys do the talking for them. Tribal warfare ensued between the pro-gambling and anti-gambling crowd. In came chess drama, which overshadowed Twitch drama. On the 19th, Magnus Carlsen, a famous chess grandmaster, resigned from the Julius Baer Generation Cup, implying in a tweet that his opponent, Hans Niemann was cheating. By the way, the conspiracy or alleged way that Niemann cheated was by using beads which pinged Morse code through his of course, it didn't end there. That same day, Trainwrecks called out Mizkiff and Associates for being complicit in covering up a s scandal. Moving on to September 20th, Twitch bans- He can't have those words because the, then they will be, the video will be- that, That's why he has re-uploaded is my guess. 
it has been 18 plus demonetized not demonetized only but it probably age restricted because of those words gambling including slots roulette and dice games Maybe demonetized this also as well. extended to foreign gambling license that were not legal in the US i guess the staff at twitch finally turned on their monitors did this blanket ban on gambling however not sports betting have anything to do with slicker one could say so but this could have been a long time coming and slicker's drama was the straw that broke the camel's back to this day slicker still has an unbanned twitch account after all that's where he posted his apology videos and that's where he's able to stream to but thousands it's, of it's people if he so choose whether or not anyone will actually watch him now is one thing however slicker's subscribe button was removed and his partner with Twitch revoked. Slicker's scam is a prime example of another story being swept away by the internet's ever flowing current. We're at a point where it's impossible to keep up with everything going on, so the only thing that matters is the most current drama. The entire environment surrounding this is too fast paced parasocial, and artificial. We know what happened, we know who is responsible, but will anything actually change? More often than not, when it comes to the internet, other people pay for your mistakes while you get a slap on the wrist. Sure, he may never be accepted by other streamers, but does it even matter? Scam, adapt, rinse, repeat. Okay, whole video, it was good. It was a good video. Oh, uh, <laughs> good because of the part. The best part was Not here now. And Knut, who is seeming. And Knut! Filian! <laughs> oh, one, six, one, ma, ne, and. Ah. On the map, the can I borrow some money? King? Question mark. No. The no. best way to make money on the internet in the shortest amount of time is to scam. There's no way around it. There happens to be one scammer who managed to steal from some of the most. Let's read the comments. Most important takeaway: Knut is genuinely a good man. Much respect to him. Thank you. Thank you, the organ flame. Genius marketing saying pay back those who need it more than me. Wasn't it, boys? Genius marketing comment from me saying that little comment. <laughs> Ego alert. Yeah. <laughs> it is kind of dumb, but I, I, I seriously mean like good and good. The, the thing is. As I said uh, during that one, I, I can read the, the, the whole thing is back when I gave him the money, it was a lot, but things have evolved, right? It's still a lot of money. And it's not 10k. It's way, way, way less. I can't even remember.